Hello everyone. In this session we will talk about quorum concept and quorum witness in Windows failover cluster. Suppose you configured this failover cluster with three nodes. Two nodes are in the same network A and one node is, is in network B. In this case each node has one vote. Overall there are three votes in the cluster. Understand vote as membership. Okay, It is membership. If there are three votes, we say majority of the votes exist and there is a quorum in the cluster with three votes. Okay, So quorum, we can say, it is just a, like a, it's the existence of majority of votes, more than 50% in the cluster. We need quorum in the cluster so that cluster can offer high availability and also can prevent split brain issue. Usually, each node in the cluster communicate at heartbeat at TCP port 3343. Suppose primary lost heartbeat with node 2. In this case, cluster service in node 2 is taken offline and primary side will be left with only 2 votes. Okay? 2 votes means 66% votes, right? Because in this case, because more than 50% percent votes still exist, we don't lose quorum and cluster continues to operate. You don't face outage. After losing this node, a new quorum configuration is made in this new uh, cluster. Okay, And these two votes is made equal to 100%. In other words, automatically a new cluster with two nodes is created and quorum is dynamically being adjusted. We call this as a dynamic quorum. Currently, nowadays, clusters are operating with dynamic quorum. Okay, you should know this. The reconnection attempt and with node 2, okay, it will continue until again it will be the reconnection uh, succeeds, it will continue. If the reconnection happens, if connection re-establish it, node 2 again will be added to the cluster. Now, suppose heartbeat is lost even with node 3. In this case, primary is left alone with only one vote. There were two votes right before, and now one vote, vote left, which means 50% vote is left. It is not minority, and it is not majority, right? In this case, there is 50% chance that cluster loses quorum. If quorum is lost, cluster service in uh, primary node goes down. Okay? In other words, you face outage. Therefore, node-to-node -node communication at heartbeat and keeping majority of votes in the cluster is very much important. You should understand these concepts. If you lose votes, if you, if you lose membership, you lose quorum and uh, your primary goes down. Now you understand what is quorum and why we should keep it, right? Now, let's see different example scenarios. If you have two nodes in the cluster with two votes, there is 50% chance that cluster can survive after one server failure, okay? And 50% chance that it might fail. What about if you have three servers? In this case, cluster can survive after one server failure, definitely. If one server fails, then another one fails, there is 50% chance that it can survive. Pay attention here. They are not failing at once, they are failing one after another. If they fail at the same time, there is no chance that cluster can survive. Okay? If they fail at the same time, you face outage and cluster cannot survive. What about if you have four servers? In this case, you can see cluster can survive in the, when one server failure, when one server failure and another failure. Then uh, also cluster can survive with 50% chance if there are two server failures at the same time, okay? So from this, we can say more servers, higher chance of cluster survival, but if 50% of the nodes fail at the same time, no matter how, nodes, how many nodes you have, 
If 50% of the nodes fail at the same time, you have 50% chance that the whole cluster, even in primary, will fail. Now, let's talk about witness. Quorum witness is just another vote. If you cannot add nodes to increase votes, you can configure witness. In this case, number of votes in the cluster becomes 4, right? If node 2 fails, then node 3 fails, primary anyway uh, keeps alive because two votes will be left. In other words, we can say witness increases the chance of cluster survival. There are three types of witness, disk witness, file share witness, cloud witness. Now, you might ask, which is better? Answer is, it depends. The one which is stable and highly available is better. One more point. Here you can see I'm configuring witness outside of the cluster network in separate server. Why? In this case, if network B or network A outage happens, witness keeps operating and it does not impact witness. Okay? So, therefore, it is better to, to it is it is best practice to configure witness separately outside of your cluster and uh, outside of your network. Okay? Now, let's see examples again and check how witness impacts cluster survival. If you have two nodes and one witness in the cluster, you can see your cluster will definitely survive. Okay? Even there is one server failure. What about if you have three servers and one witness? You can see survival chance is also increasing here, right? So, and the last, the same with four nodes and witness. Therefore, as a best practice, you had always better configure witness. Let's see how to do that. So, this is my cluster. You can see here, I don't have a witness configured, right? So, witness none. So now, let's configure witness. I will choose file share witness because I don't have cloud or shared disks or something like that. So therefore I will I will go to my witness machine, which is outside of my cluster, right? And right click new folder. Okay. I will call it witness folder. And I will share this. I'll go to sharing, share, share with everyone. Okay, read and write, click share. Now you can see it has been shared. Close it. So now I will go to my primary machine and uh, right click more actions, configure cluster witness. Okay, and click next. Now you can see cluster quorum witness. So let's choose it. You can see here different types of witnesses, right? We talked about. I'll choose file share witness and uh, file share pass, browse, browse, okay, advanced, by now. I will choose my this witness machine, okay. I will try to find, this is my machine, click OK, click OK. Now you can see my witness folder, right, which I created. I will just click here, OK. Okay, next, next. Finish. Here we go. Now I have file share witness configured, right? You can see file share witness here. So now, and uh, you can see one vote, and if you go notes, you can see current one, one note, one vote, right? Now I have three votes in my machine, okay? In my cluster. So if even one node goes down, my cluster can survive, okay? So, if you have any questions or concerns regarding this session, just leave a comment. I will definitely try to answer. Thank you for your time.